Since 1989, Shaw College has been inviting internationally distinguished scholars to visit the college, giving lectures and to meet teachers and students of the college as well as other friends of the university. This scheme was named as Sir Run Run Shaw Distinguished Visiting Scholars so as to express our respect for Sir Run Run's generosity for youth education. This year, we are honored to have Professor Richard J. Davison, founder and chair of the Center for Investigating Healthy Mind Center of the University of Wisconsin Medicine, to be our Sir Run Run Shaw Distinguished Visiting Scholar. Thank you all so much for the uh, honor of being the distinguished lecturer here at Shaw College uh, this evening and for my visit to Hong Kong. Special thanks to Freedom for his hospitality, uh, to Andrew for his hospitality. So uh, we started by using the tools of modern neuroscience. This is a picture that was taken in 2001 when the Dalai Lama first visited our laboratory. Uh, and here we were showing him the MRI scanner and showing him how we can scan people's brains and look at functional activity in the brain uh, as the brain was working. This is one of our practitioners. Um, some of you might recognize this photograph. Uh, this is a photograph of Mingyur Rinpoche, who is a very well-known uh, meditation master. Uh, and uh, he actually has a center, a group here in Hong Kong uh, that uh, uh, where, where he has many students. And um, Mingyur Rinpoche was uh, visiting our lab on several occasions and we measured his brain. And uh, this is a photograph showing the recordings that we take from the scalp surface. We can do a little experiment together here right now to illustrate the attentional blink. So I'd like you all to focus your attention on that cross and I'm going to be showing you a series of letters and numbers. And I'd like you to just pay attention to the numbers. And then I'll ask you what numbers you saw. Don't say them out loud. Just keep them in your mind. And just pay attention to that spot. So here we go. How many people saw the number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Number five? Number six? Seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, you're, you're all a very attentive audience, actually. <laughs> so uh, I'll show you what I actually displayed. So um, what we saw there is a series of letters, and then the first number that I showed was the number three. Most of you got the number three. Uh, and then there were one or two letters, and then I showed a second number, which was the number seven, and most of you got the number seven too. Now, this is not laboratory conditions, and uh, the software that we use to present this in slides is not uh, carefully timed like it would be in the laboratory, so we can't get the timing exactly right. Uh, but when you do this in the laboratory, about 50% of people, about 50% of the time, miss the second number, the number seven. Uh, most people see the first number, but it's as if you get so excited about seeing the first number that you miss the second number. <laughs> now, the last topic that I'd like to introduce is this, uh, and that is work with kids. We also test their attention. We use... Um, uh, this is one of the tasks that we use to test their attention. Uh, it's a task called the flanker task, where a child is asked to pay attention to the fish in the middle. And the fish is pointing in one direction. In this case, the fish is pointing to the left. And the child is asked to press an arrow key to indicate in which direction the fish is pointing. And I'd like to end with a quote from a very, very famous scientist. Uh, from Albert Einstein. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison 
by widening our circles of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Thank you very much. We shall now call upon Professor Andrew C.F. Chen to present a souvenirs to Professor Davison. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you for joining us today, and we wish you a nice evening.